Look how cool it looks in the crafting table too. A little jack-o'-lanterns in there. What is going on guys? My name is CPK and welcome back to another episode of One Life, the Minecraft survival server where you only have one life. Where if you die, the only thing you're allowed to listen to for the rest of your life is the song from the Little Einsteins. So welcome back guys. Some things have changed. We have a few more dogs now. Look at these little wolves. These good boys. You're a good boy. Hey, stop being stuck. Stand up. Why are they always, always stuck in things? So for those of you who don't know, I actually did a stream a couple of days ago and people were giving me names for dogs in stream. So uh, that's why we have a few extra dogs now. They accidentally bred themselves. It was wild, honestly. Good stream. Did it on YouTube. So you guys should definitely stay tuned in case I do any more of those, which I probably will. Why do I have no steak? Where is my steak? Let's just take 64 out. Om nom 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 nom. I bet there's some in this, isn't there? There is, there's 30 there. Right, so today we are doing our Halloween makeover, or at least we're going to try to at least start it. So as you can see, here are my cows. Look at this, look how blended in this cow is now. Wow, he looks just like all the other cows. My favorite dude. We also came in and we got another alpaca who has now grown up, I think. He has, he's fully grown. So now we got Llama Del Rey. We got this guy over here in the corner, Mr. Fluffington the first. And don't forget everyone's favorite, Al Pacchino. Oh god, there's a blood moon. We're not safe. We're not safe. Pumpkin spice, get out of the way. Ah, oh, there hasn't been a blood moon for so long. Do you think I should risk try to get to spawn? I'm gonna risk it. This could be so stupid. We're going for it. Ooh, quicker please. Oh man, the blood moon looks cool though. Look at that, it's all pink. Yes, I made it. Oh, get out of here, Blood Moon. We don't have time for your spawns. Oh, that was petrifying. My heart is racing right now, guys, like legitimately racing. I feel alive right now. I feel like I could do anything, but I better not. Let's not do anything stupid. <laughs> so I figure we're gonna have a quick look around, see if there's anything interesting at the shopping area because I haven't been for a little while. I don't think there's really anything new. My shop is just still kind of sat there. I haven't really put anything into it. Honestly, I might demolish my shop soon. I don't really need anything. I'm pretty sure that's Joel's train station, right? But he's not done with the work on it yet. Scott's super sapling stuff. What's Scott got in here? A lot of you guys told me to come here. Umbran, jacaranda, three jacaranda. Oh, that's actually a pretty good price. Pink cherry, willow, fur. I like this one. I like this Umbran. Let's get one. Did he give me it? Um, excuse me. Hello? Scott better get his bot online right now and give me these. I just bought two. What? I feel cheated. What on earth? Well, I guess all we can do right now is go home until Scott can get online to give me the saplings because I earned them. And by earned them, I mean bought them. Okay, so now that we're back home, I can show you guys what I did in the stream. So I wanted to kind of split up my plot into... Oh, here's another doggo, Sweet Pea. I wanted to kind of split up my plot. Why do you keep doing this? You crazy dogs. Uh, so that it looks all colorful. So I wanted this whole section to be like purples. Some of which haven't grown yet, actually, still. Still waiting on them growing. And then I think, yeah, over here was all the reds. I liked it looking all like split up into quarters. I thought it looked really cool. These are all my reds for now that I have. It's quite a nice little area here. There's a couple of greens mixed in, but I don't want to get rid of all my trees. And then down this side was all the yellows. Now, I'm not sure where to keep them all segregated or where just to mix them all in. But all I know is that I really want to give it like a big old spooky makeover, which is the plan for today. I have been stockpiling some pumpkins. I probably still don't have as many as I want. So this is what we wanted. I actually swapped all my melons for pumpkins. Oh, wait, hold on. Okay, I've just been told by Joey. Apparently, if I go to the other side of the shop, my stuff will be there. It just sits on the floor. So because Scott built his shop in a certain way, they pop up outside for some reason. Because I go on the outside of the tree and apparently they should be there. Um, I still don't see them. I'm not missing them, right? Am I being stupid here? No, nope, they're definitely not here, right? So what's happened now is Scott has deceived me. Joey has lied to me. I just feel like everyone's out to get me, honestly. I'm doing some parkour now to see if I can find them. Hello? No, they're definitely not here. I'm not losing my mind here. I know they're not here. Okay, so Scott's actually not available to help right now. He's not at his PC, so he can't actually get on to help me. So we're going to have to plant the Umbran saplings in the next episode. Or maybe I'll do it off camera and we'll have them ready for the next episode. I think they're going to be a nice little addition. I really do. So let's go ahead and start working on the pumpkin lights because they look really cool. We have 19 pumpkins, so I should be okay, I think. I do actually want to make some into jack-o'-lanterns too, though, just because, you know, we've got to spook up the whole plot. It's quite a big area, really, when you think about it. And i got to get enough stuff to spook Spook up everything. Okay, so let's make a couple of jack-o'-lanterns first. Okay, so we'll make four of these. Oh my god, I thought I just made them all into pumpkin seeds. I'd have been so sad if I messed that up. Between now and the next episode, I can definitely add some more because I will be online. I'll probably do another stream before then. Let's pop one here. 
Oh, they're cool, man. Maybe I should put them down like the side of my path. So like, on all the paths into the house, if we just put some jack-o'-lanterns down. That's gonna look so cool. I'm definitely gonna need a lot more though. But let's go ahead and see what the lights are like. So we need rose red. Let's go see if we have any flowers. I'm pretty sure we'll have some rose red around, right? You'd think so. Fantastic, we actually do. We have some rose red. We also need a little bit of iron. And we need to be able to make slabs, pine wood slabs. Does this work though? That's the question. Let's find out. So if we do this, here are the things we need. So we can move items in and collect four red jack-o'-lantern fairy lights. So I kind of want to see what they look like. I don't really know how they work. Okay, so now we have to actually make them hanging lights. So we've done that now. We've made them into hanging lights. We needed three of them to turn them into hanging lights. They are jack-o'-lantern hanging lights, apparently. So I kind of want to see how it looks. Hopefully it doesn't look terrible. That's my worry here that it's not going to look very good. We could probably take down these ones. Oh my goodness. Look how cool that is. What? That's so cool. Oh man, I love it. I actually love it. Oh, I'm going to want so many of these. I'm going to use like all my iron and everything on this. I know I am already. Oh, it's so cool. Okay, let's go make some more colors. And then maybe we can mix the chains up a little. Can I just use the allium for magenta? No, I need more slabs too. Okay. Okay, so now we've got some orange, we've got some red, we've got some blue, some magenta, and some green. We've got to make some more slabs. Okay, so we've got green there now as well. Magenta we can get. They look very cool. Oh, an orange. Orange, 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 orange. I actually like how the orange ones look. They're kind of like the most plain because that's the color that a jack-o'-lantern is. But it looks so sick. Anyway, like, I'm excited. So then to make it, we need iron string iron. Let's have an orange, red, and a magenta. Does that look cool? I think that's going to look cool. And then we'll make like some darker ones too. So we'll do like a blue, a green, and a brown. Maybe not the most attractive colors in the world, but you know what? We deal with it. Oh, orange, blue, orange could look pretty cool. There we go. That's that one. Let's hang our multicolored one. Oh, I'm so excited. Look how sick that looks. Oh, it looks so cool. It looks so, so, so cool. Let's take down these purple ones and then let's put our... Little one here. Honestly, I'm so in love. I'm so in love with this. This was the best idea I think I ever had. Let's do the orange, blue, orange here. Oh, I do like that. So it does orange, orange, blue, orange, orange, blue, orange, orange. And then it would have been a blue if there was another one there. So I need to make one, probably do two on this side. It's quite long. I need to make three more colors. So let's go and get to work on making three more. Then I think I'm just going to start randomly hanging them from like trees and stuff as well, because they're just cool, aren't they? Let's be honest here. I'm going to make some more orange ones. Orange ones are definitely my favorite color so far. I love the oranges. Look how cool it looks in the crafting table too. The little jack-o'-lanterns in there. Okay, we got three jack-o'-lanterns. Should we do a little one from there to there too? Maybe we should. I might have to make another one. I'm just obsessed with making them now. Look at that. Beautiful. So this one was so long that I thought we should do two. It's like one to here and then one to here. Yeah, I think that was much better than trying to stretch one out all the way for sure. Right, we have 12 more jack-o'-lanterns to go and tactically place around my plot. The thing is, obviously, what we've got to wait for is nighttime. Like, the nighttime is going to look so sick. So I'm basically putting them along my paths. I think that's the best way to do it, is put them along the paths. Just try and give it that extra spooky feel. Probably going to get some cobwebs and string up some cobwebs somewhere. And then what I consider the main entrance, let's put one here, one a little further down, and then another one here. Any of these saplings that haven't grown yet, I'm going to break and replant, because I think they're not growing because they're too close to other trees. That's all I can think, because they they should have probably grown by now. Oh, a lot of these ones over here have grown now. They weren't grown at the start of the episode, so that's nice. We'll start spreading it out across to this side. I think the like dark purple ones are just my favorite for sure. Jacarandas are just so, so nice. Coolest trees ever. Coolest trees ever. Then I think I'd like to see what I have available to me in my deco bench as well. So let's take a look because there's a gothic section, right? Is it gothic or dungeon? Dungeon. Aha. Let's get some dungeon stuff. We are going to spook this place out. I'm excited. Get a stock. Why not? Coffins. Sure. Let's get a coffin. Skeletons. Yes. Giant spider webs. Okay, I left myself with two clay. How big is giant? It says giant spider web, but I, I don't know what that means really. Holy moly, it's big. Okay. Oh, can I put it like above my door? That won't clash with the lights, right? I actually don't like that. Let's get a little fire pit there. Oh, that's nice. Can we hang a skeleton off of one of our trees? Oh my God, we can. Oh, that's so cool. Let's go like deep into the crypt over here. I just place a coffin down. Yes. And the stocks can be by the door because that's where we humiliate everyone who tries to stand in our way. Oh, that's nice. Yes, I love it. And the spider web can go, it can just go on a tree, I guess. Like, I think it'll look fine on a tree. I think that looks cool. 
You never know what kind of spiders live in there. I like how this is starting to look. I'm excited to see it at nighttime though. And it does look like nighttime is rolling in thick and fast. So we are good. We are going to get to see it at night, which is what I'm most excited for, for sure. Maybe I should just hang up some of the regular lights too from trees or something. So these are pretty well color themed actually. Oh, I like that. Oh man. Now pink isn't exactly uh, spooky, I guess, but you never know, do you? Doing from there to here too. Okay, let's take a look. Oh, I think it looks so cool. Look how cool the hanging lights are. We got this little Halloween themed stuff going on. We've done this a pretty decent makeover, I think. You know, I'm still going to work for more trees, more spook, but you'll see it in the next episode. For now, I think this looks very, very cool. Let me know what you guys think. I love how this is coming out aesthetically. We still got some more hanging lights that I'm going to play with and throw up at some point. But for now, guys, I think I'm going to end this episode here for the Halloween makeover anyway. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I really enjoyed making this episode. And I think I'm slowly getting better with my creative ideas. Usually I'm pretty terrible at them. I think this was a little better. So let me know what you think. Hopefully you do enjoy it. And if you did, let me know. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Peace.